After a lifetime of being overweight and making bad decisions, Brad decided on his 40th birthday to change his life. His goal is to lose 70 pounds in the next 12 months. Already he has encountered problems with complacency and lack of motivation. Let's follow him and see if he can do it. Hey everybody, I have some very, very exciting news today. I could not be happier. I started this weight loss journey at 292 pounds and today I weigh 280 pounds. That 12 pounds represents a lot of hard work and a lot of consistency over time. Now, the funny part is, I think I've lost that amount of weight twice. July 10th was my birthday. I was turning 40 and I said, I'm gonna lose this weight. Did what I need to do, I counted my calories, counted my macros, and then I lost, the, I lost about 10 pounds pretty quickly. I thought I was doing a great job, but then life creeped back in. My old habits creep back in. And then I found myself two months later, back to where I started from. It was a very shameful and disheartening point when I stepped back on that scale and realized that I had gained that weight back so quickly. I came back from vacation recently, I refocused, and now I weigh 280 pounds, which is 12 pounds down. I could not be more excited. What are my goals for this next week? Well, I wanna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm not gonna mess with this formula. I found a calorie target and a macro target that's really working for me right now, so I'm gonna do everything I can to keep logging my food and stay on top of it. In these last two weeks, I've really tried to prioritize drinking water. I am now focused on getting at least 64 ounces, that's half a gallon, of regular water. This next week, I'm also gonna work on increasing my step count and actually logging a, my step count so I know how many I'm getting per day. I have a Apple Watch and it keeps track of how many I do per day. I'm gonna put it into a spreadsheet and really get some tangible information so I can compare and keep moving up and increasing that step count. Each week I would like to highlight that something I found at the grocery store that has really been beneficial to my weight loss for the week. I love ice cream. I have an ice cream problem. I love it to death. I could eat it every day. If for my birthday, forget the cake, just put a candle in some ice cream and I'm good to go. So I had to find a substitute when I started to track my calories and macros. So I found this NYX ice cream now it is a, it says it's a Swedish style light ice cream. And I don't know what kind of Swedish sorcery and Swedish magic they've put into this, but it is amazing. They have several flavors. My favorite is this one, the peanut butter cup. I have a bowl of this ice cream pretty much every night. Now the macros for a two thirds cup serving, 95 grams is 120 calories, six grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs and six grams of protein. This gives me such a great way at the end of my day to incorporate something sweet and keep me going through the next day. Please, crazy people in the comments, don't ruin this for me. I love this thing, don't ruin it. Don't say, don't tell me it's made with bug guts or it's made by uh, children in a sweatshop in Sweden. I, don't ruin this for me, please. Please subscribe to the channel. I also have a free Facebook group called Weight Loss for Busy Parents, where in there we go deeper, we talk about our weight loss journeys, we're gonna share, we're gonna add, share recipes and things like that. So please, if you're over there on Facebook, go check us out. We will see you next week, thanks.